Ladies and gentlemen, what you are experiencing is a puppet emergency. This happens every once in a while. I'm glad you're here for it. It's wild to think that we've been doing this for two years. We have to spend so much time in a rule-driven world. There's some sort of freedom and release that comes with working with puppetry. I like being around other creative people and other people that want to do something. We're not all destined to be brain surgeons. There are that group of people, and I'm one of them, that from day one, I was going into the arts. In that sense, I sort of feel like everyone's got a puppeteer in them. It's just waiting to be accessed and awoken. Went from being entertained to being fascinated to actually learning different ways to do it. Largely just grew out of what I have to do to make my own look to be unique. And I was like, oh my gosh, there's other rando people out there doing the same thing I'm doing in my dumb apartment. I was at Puppet Works all day and I said, oh, someone from the Muppets called you. I don't think I actually spoke English to Jim Henson. It was so wonderful of him to do that for me, <laughs> to take me to this place that I never imagined that I was going to be. It was great that people loved it, but Jim would have been doing this work whether we had a following or not. Again, to bring up David Fincher, did I drop a name? <laughs> if I could survive that, then there's nothing any other production could throw at me that I can't handle. Being able to flit up against and learn from and soak up information from the top people who work in this specific medium. Right. There are times when you just, you know it needs to be puppets because you want it to be puppets. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm a thing. puppeteer. Because <laughs> I'm a puppeteer and I like things done with puppets. And so that's that, that love, that care and that age that you see is so authentic. There's lots of stuff happening. Congratulations, Adam. I hear you're going to be a dad. Yes, yeah, yeah, it's coming up soon. If we want to be serious, this is like some this is some real talk therapy that we're we're, we're working through this right stuff now. Stuff deserves to be handed down to uh, uh, in, you know, into the lexicon of puppetry for future generations. I've never said this ever, ever, ever to anybody. Between you and me and whoever millions of people who see this, I don't stuff. know how much of these secrets I'm allowed to tell. Hearing that type of stuff, I go, you know, they did it. I can make it. It gives me courage. How dare I say I'm not a puppeteer. I'm not really a puppeteer. I am a puppeteer. And I'm, I'm so happy to be a part of this uh, big family. This is how puppeteers socialize. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's some marvelous people who have gone before us. You know, pay attention to them. And that's puppetry. <laughs> Good night, everybody. <laughs>